Hello everybody, how are you doing today? Another get ready with me style video, sorry. Anyway, but um, I just wanted to throw this little bad boy up there. So I'm going to, this one just like, oh my gosh, there's so much little buzzies going around YouTube. Sorry about that. And so I will touch base a little bit on the Alexa Stone because um, I seen um, Allie had a few tweets up and stuff about it. Here's, oh, mm -hmm. I, I, I don't know. I've been on Juvia's kick lately, but I just like mix and match a few. Um, actually sometimes, but anyway, um, so Alexis Stone and his little bit of fuckery going on right now. Here's the thing. Now I've made videos uh, just recently about Alexis Stone. And so I'm like, you asshole. Why? Why? Why do we do this? The thing about Alexis, and, and I believe anybody that's known Alexis for a while knows that he's conceited as hell, and he thinks that his shit doesn't stink, he toots his own horn, you know, that's got nothing to do with any mental illness or anything, that just has to do with a whole bunch of conceitedness, okay? That's all it has to really do with. And he seems to think... <laughs> That he is the only one, I mean, the only one on the in, in, in the makeup gods that can do what he does. And he's not. You know, he is very talented, yes. But, <laughs> dude, just stop. Stop tooting your own horde that hard. It is not becoming. Because, you know, look at all the people that do makeup, um... For, you know, filmmaking and things like that. So there are extremely talented, you know, makeup artists out there and stuff that necessarily don't have an Instagram and a YouTube platform and stuff like that. So he just needs to stop. He, he needs to stop thinking he's all that in a bag of chips. I mean, yes, again, I will give him the credit from here to Timbuktu about his talent. But, you know, don't be... If these guys don't know what I'm referencing, please go watch the viewer's voice and then you'll know. Because um, he made a video about it. I'm just doing a little commentary. But anyway, um, it kind of... Hi, come here. She's, she's so funny today. But anyway, I know you guys have been hearing my dog. She has been bad lately. She has just been a little baddie. Um, she's mad that Bentley's getting more attention than her. <laughs> um, but seriously, now I want to talk about what he said about James Charles. Actually, I want to put one more statement in before I move on to the James Charles thing. Well, no, this will tie into it. Never mind. So anyway, he had to come for James Charles, you know, another amount of fuckery that he just had to do. For some odd reason, again, because anytime Alexis gets his panties and a twist, he's got to go for the jugular. And that's just what Alexis does because he thinks he is a makeup god. Newsflash, no. But anyway, um, the things that he said about James Charles or that the way he went about James Charles was completely immature, <laughs> extremely immature. But then when he, you know, made the comment about he's been going around with somebody that looks like, you know, from the uh, um, the Dolan twins or whatever, and James Charles and whatever he did about showing his back ass, whatever, I don't care. Why? Why did you feel the need to, the need to hit so fucking below? Now, whether you like James Charles or not is is irrelevant. Okay, I'm just talking about the issue at hand. I'm not talking about, like, whether you like James Charles or not. That's completely irrelevant. But why the fuck are you going to expose somebody's personal, personal, you know, things? If they're trying to, you know, hook up or get with, get a boyfriend, get a relationship or whatever, why you, why are you going to not only post, like, what he did or, like, say what he did... But, you know, talk about, like, maybe the rejection. I mean, do we need to fucking know about that? I mean, really, way to be a dick. I'm sorry, but that is extremely way, way, way to be a dick. And now, here's the part that I just want to add a little bit. 
Now, what Alexis Stone did with the haters, and uh, T by Allie made this comment too, and I was actually like, yep, you got that right, sister. But anyway, uh, he made the video about him unmasking and saying fuck you to the haters. Dude, what are you right now? I mean, what are you? I mean, you're sitting there acting like an ass, being a belittling little prick. And you want us, I mean, yes, what you did was phenomenal. It was epic. Yeah, we'll give you the kudos for that. But now you're on the other side of the fence. You're one of the assholes that we need to flick off just as well. Because you don't do that to people. It's just not kind, just because you're a little salty, because you think maybe somebody stole your idea, you're going to like James, uh, uh, drag James Charles into it and stuff. It's like, dude, grow up. Stop it. I mean, I just wanted to talk about that a little bit because I had a, I, I'm a little bit obviously venting about it because I think it's it's sad that Alexis gained a lot of support for you know what he did and everything and just to turn around and ruin it by being a fucking asshole so yeah that's just my opinion on that situation so let's turn this around into a lighter note conversation a little bit I try not to make these videos too long. Okay, we're six minutes in. So a lot of people, some people have asked me to make a video on how uh, me and my husband met. So if you don't want to hear about it, just click off. Anyway, so I will, now I was with my ex-husband. Um, and my current husband now, when I was with my ex-husband, he, he used to work at a gas station where they pump your gas for you. And, you know, we would go there all the time for gas. And my current husband then worked there. I think I told this story before. Did I tell this story before? I think I did. Anyway, long story short, um, years later, you know, when me and my ex-husband are just, you know, like, you know, going through separation or whatever, I went to um, a karaoke bar because I love karaoke. It was my thing. And I seen him there. And I recognized him. And he was with somebody. I, I really think I told the story before. And I'm sorry. But I thought I seen somebody ask me again. <clears throat> so, anyway. Um, <clears throat> he was in a relationship at that point, And so was I. However, though. We just ended up getting together and after about a year and a half. So I did want to not ignore that question. I really felt like I addressed that question before, but just in case I didn't, um, that's how I recognized them when I went out for karaoke. I used to love going to karaoke, guys. Oh my God, that was so much fun. Oh, Cause I mean, it was like my me time. I would get it and I wouldn't go all the time. It was like, maybe I would go like, uh, every other Saturday, because Lord knows I had the kids and everything. And uh, so it was kind of like just like my mommy little getaway time. I would go for like two hours on a Saturday night. But the kids were already in bed and everything at that point. Um, but it was just my little mommy time. And that's what I would go, me and my best friend. So let me know, have you guys ever done karaoke? Have you guys ever gone to a karaoke bar? I mean, those were always fun. It's always fun. I, I actually love it when... Because there are some people that obviously are extremely, extremely talented. Um, and then you get those people that when they get drunk, <laughs> they get a little bit all like thinking they like, uh, you know, Celine Dion and shit up there. They like, oh, I got to laugh at that. But that's always fun. You know, the ones that get up there and think that they're a mega star. And, oh, uh, but it's nice. That's what I call, like, the beer balls and stuff, you know. Oh, God. But it was fun, though. I mean, it was really, really fun to get up there and or just go and have a good time. Oh, God. Those were the days. I still occasionally will go to karaoke with Clay. Um, but it's been a long time. Just because sometimes we like to go back to, you know, where we met and stuff like that. So, I'm going to finish up this look, guys, and I will be back. Okay, all set. Um, so, anyway, if you guys were wondering, like, I, I, it's, this one's BH Cosmetics. They're little. Anyway, um, <clears throat> that's what I stuck on.
Anyway, so let me know what you guys think about Mr. Alexis Stone and his little bit of bullshit going on. I think he just, you know, they do good things and then they fuck it up by doing something just asshole-ish. So it's very frustrating. But, um, and I did because I did get a couple questions asking me that and I thought I answered it before, but just in case I didn't. Anyway, if I did, sorry for the repetitiveness. So I hope you guys have a wonderful day and hopefully all goes well. And I will see you guys soon. Kisses. Again, thank you for watching my videos.